Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your performance and get better FPS in all new Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 dropped recently. I hope this video helps you out, so make sure to watch it till the end. Do not skip any step and leave your specs down in the comments below. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, first thing first is the compatibility settings and for that you have to open up Epic Games Launcher from your PC. Now once you are here, go over to library and then click on the three dots in front of Fortnite, then go over to manage. Then you have to click on this folder button and you should be in the installation location of your game. Now what you have to do is simply open up Fortnite game, go to binaries, win64 and in here you will find Fortnite Launcher.exe. Right click on that, go over to properties, compatibility and then you have to click on disable full screen optimization, change high DPI settings, override high DPI scaling behavior, application, apply and OK. You have to do the same thing with Win64 shipping and again with the Win64 shipping B. Once that is done, close your folder. Next step is the essential Windows settings and for that you have to simply search for settings on your PC. Once you're here, go over to gaming, go over to game bar and then make sure to turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of processing in the background and you do not want this turned on because it will directly impact your FPS. Go back to gaming, then scroll down and you find game mode right over here. Enable this thing as it will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background including your background applications as well as notifications and it will help you to improve your FPS. Right beneath that, you'll also find graphic settings. Simply open it up. Then in the default settings, click on change default graphic settings and enable both of these options. First one will help you to use hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. That means that it will utilize your GPU over your other hardware to render the game and improve the FPS. Second one will help you to reduce your input latency. Go back to graphics and now you have to click on the browse button and then add Fortnite win64shipping.ext from the Fortnite folder. I have already added it so simply go over to options and then select high performance and then click on save. Once that is done, simply close it. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine Windows key since I do not like the activate Windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a Windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get Windows 10 for $53.78 but on this sale you can get it for $21.75 and if you use my code FOX25 you can get additional 25% off at just $16.31. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Now let's go to the third step that is the best config settings for Fortnite. And for that, press your windows and R key together and then simply search for app data right over here. Then go over to local and then you have to search for Fortnite game. Once you are here, go over to saved, then go to config and right over here, you'll find windows client. Open it up and you'll find game user settings.ini. Simply open it up with notepad. Once you are over here, you have to copy some of the settings I'm going to be showing you right now. First one is the B motion blur. You have to make sure that this is set to false. Show grass. This is set to false. Show FPS. This is set to true. B latency tweak 1 false and latency tweak 2 2. B use a nanite. Set this thing to false. Then you'll find disable mouse acceleration. You have to set this thing to false. Audio quality level should be set to 1. Full screen mode should be set to 0. Now you'll find scalability groups. Over here resolution quality. I have set this thing to 50 because I play on ray tracing. But you're not gonna have to change anything right over here. Just to simply set everything to 0. Your view distance, anti-aliasing quality, global illumination, shading quality, landscape quality, just set everything to zero. And once you're done, you have applied the lowest settings possible in the game. On the bottom, you'll find D3D RHI preference. Over here, you'll find prefer RHI. I have, I have set this thing to DX12. If you have super low end PC, you can simply set DX11. 
or you can just leave it as it is. We're going to be changing into performance mode from the game itself. Once that is done, simply press Ctrl and S together and then close your notepad. Next step is deanimating your windows and for that you have to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Click on adjust for best performance, then click on show taskbar preview thumbnails. Then you have to click on show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts. Simply apply all of them. Next is in the advanced section where you have to set your virtual memory and for that you have to click on the change button, uncheck the automatically manage paging file size and then over here set custom size initial size should be set to 1361 as it is a little bit over 1 gb for maximum size you have to open up your calculator and then you have to keep it right aside this open up system information on your pc and look for the installed physical memory on your pc also take a note of your processor for me it is an amd processor now i have 32 gb ram so multiply that with 1024 and you'll get your ram in megabytes now what you have to do over here is simply divide this whole value by two and the value that you get over here is the value that you have to set in the maximum size once that is done click on set click on ok close your calculator and then close your performance option as well next step is fixing all of your network issues using exit lag exit lag is pros choice to fix all of your network issues that includes ping, latency, packet loss and much more. Once you download and open up the application, it should look like this and on the left hand side, you can find a list of over 1000 games to choose from. You can simply search for Fortnite in this list and then choose the nearest game region to you. For me, that is Dubai 01. Simply click on apply routes and it will give you the least amount of ping possible in the game. Exit lag helps you to tunnel your internet straight from your PC to the game servers without any hindrance that will ultimately give you best ping and it also fixes packet loss. Best part about this application is the tool section in which you'll find FPS boost, enable the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, third, last and last option and that will give you the best FPS possible in the game. So it not just fixes your network but it also fixes your FPS as well. And if you go check out exit lag from the link in the description below you can get up to 23% off on the annual subscription and 15% off on quarterly subscription so make sure to go check out exit lag, links are in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and this is super simple and important simply search for create a restore point on your pc look for your local disk c click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled then click on create and name it fortnite just so you can remember it and do not skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore all of the settings without any data loss you can always do that with one single click it only takes a few moment so just allow your pc and once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 FPS Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. And you can also download this from my Discord server as well. In this FPS Pack, you'll find the first folder, which is CPU Priority. Once again, you have two options. If you have an AMD CPU, you have to run the AMD CPU Priority. If you have an Intel CPU, you have to run the Intel CPU Priority. I have already run my AMD CPU Priority. Second folder is the RAM Optimization, in which I have left a lot of presets for your computer memory. I use 32. GB RAM so I need to run 32 GB RAM registry it could be different for you so you can pick one from this preset and once again if you don't like it you can always reset it back to default from this value you can simply double click to run it third folder is the Fortnite optimization in which I have left Fortnite priority you can simply double click to run this as well this is super important so do not miss this because it will help you prioritize your game and set the best values possible for maximum performance. Fourth folder is the windows important tweaks in which I have left a lot of registries that can actually help you to improve your performance of your computer as a whole. First one will disable unnecessary services, second one will disable background apps, third one will disable downloading maps, fourth one will disable transparency, fifth one will enable clear page file at shutdown that means every time your PC boots up it will be a fresh boot up and it will keep your system healthy next is improve system responsiveness for input latency and rendering latency and last is the win32 priority separation for faster booting once again if you don't like it you can always go back to revert the registries and revert all of them back to normal last is the batch optimization in which i have left bcdtweaks.cmd in this folder you'll find all of the cmd files so you do not have to run everything manually just simply right click and run this as administrator and it will automatically perform all of the commands without any problems the bcd edit helps you to disable dynamic take high precision event timer synthetic timers and so much more 
Memory compression consumes a lot of processing power in the background and it is better if you disable it for gaming. Third one is disable process mitigation. It will also help you to improve your FPS. And last one is a latency tweak for your input latency. Once all of the folders are done, you can simply close this FPS pack and now you have to move to the final best in-game setting. So simply open up your game. But once you're in the Epic Games launcher, you have to click on the three dots right over here. Go over to manage and in here you'll find launch option simply turn this thing on and then copy this whole thing you'll find it on the website itself copy the hyphen land play hyphen no splash and hyphen use all available course you have to paste this string you can find it on my website as well simply paste it in the launch option and open up fortnite right away Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then go over to settings. Now, here comes the most important part. The window mode should always be full screen. Make sure you not play on windowed mode because it gives you all kinds of lower FPS and input latency. After that, I highly recommend you guys to go for a native resolution. However, you can always downscale this resolution to improve your FPS. VSync should be turned off. Frame rate limit should be set to unlimited. Rendering mode is now what has changed. So if you play on a super, super low end PC, performance mode is gonna help you guys a lot lot so if you are playing on no graphic card go for performance mode however if you have any sort of graphic card i highly recommend you guys to go with DirectX 12 and then scroll all the way down until you find the anti-aliasing and super resolution and right over here you can select nvidia dlss if you have an nvidia graphic card or you can go with tsr low and that's gonna give you fabulous fps because i have tried and tested it every single one and tsr low and nvidia dlss gave me the best fps however if you guys are still suffering with with frame drops you can always go with fxaa it's gonna be making it simple but you might find a little bit of stuttering otherwise you can set your rendering mode to dx11 and then set anti-aliasing and super resolution to off and that's gonna give you better fps however i personally recommend you to go with dx12 and the anti-aliasing and super resolution should be set to nvidia dlss and dlss should be set to performance it automatically sets your 3d resolution so you do not have to switch anything with this you have to scroll down until you find shadows turn this thing off global illumination off reflection off view distance epic i have gone for epic you guys can keep it medium or far textures low effects low post processing low and hardware ray tracing off after that show fps should be turned on nvidia reflex low latency i have set this thing to on plus boost as it gives me the lowest input delay however you can always go with on if that helps you out. Once you're done applying these settings, simply click on the apply button and then decline the restart. Go over to the sound settings and right over here, you will find something called sound quality. Make sure to set this thing to low because it's gonna drastically impact your FPS. Once that is done, go back and you're all set to play Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 on the best FPS possible. I hope this video helps you out. So leave a like and smash the subscribe button. It really helps me out a ton. If you guys are not a channel member yet, I'd recommend you guys to get the channel membership. It really helps me out a lot. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.